we call the tree sand pepper. Yes, sand uh, pepper you? tree. <laughs> In that the leaf is used as sand pepper on wood and also as a nail polish. So we call it sand pepper tree or scientifically ficus exasperata. Ficus ficus exasperata. So the leaf is used as sand pepper on wood and also as a nail polish. Long time ago, the community used the leaf as a communication media. Okay? We didn't have the mobile phones for communication as we have for today. So this is how messages could be passed across. So whenever people could hear the sound, they could come together and relieve the message that was on the ground. And as you can look up the tree, there is a, um, a yucca crowing from that plant. Mm -hmm. And that tree normally holds water during the rainy season, the hole normally holds water during the rainy season. And the monkeys can still use the water during the troughs. I'll be showing you the same tree that has the hole on the ground. So, this tree also has another importance. One important was sand pepper for wood. Second reason is for communication, the sound now. The third reason, as you can see the hole normally holds water. And long time ago, if you could get lost in the forest, one way of tracing yourself back was by cleaning your face with the water in the hole and you could trace yourself back. We call it a memory tree for cleaning your memory. So this tree doesn't have a tap root to support itself. So it's only supported by this kind of rooting system. This one, we call it patrices. That's why it's hollow to vibrate the sound to like five kilometers. And as you know that most of the ficus have the fruits, the ficus are no, the fruits are known as fi ficus. Mm -hmm. So those ficus normally are edible by some of the animals that are found within the forest and also human consumption, their fruits.